there, Jay with Canadian Energy, and we're going to have a look at uh, getting your battery bank sized properly for your 12 volt inverter system. First thing that we need to understand is for every 100 watts AC, we're going to consume 10 amps DC at 12 volt. So that's the first thing we need to know. Next, we need to know what appliances we're going to run. So what I've done is I've taken a TV, a coffee maker, and a microwave. I've looked at the appliances to see just exactly what continuous wattage they are going to consume. So my TV, I know it's going to draw 100 watts continuous. My coffee maker is 1000 watts continuous. My microwave is 1200 watts continuous. From there, we're going to take our wattage and divide it by 10 because we know that for every 100 watts AC, we require 10 amps DC. So my TV is going to be 10 amps. My coffee maker is going to be 100 amps. My microwave oven is going to be 120 amps. So now that we've got that, we need to figure out just how long we want to run these appliances for. So I'm going to take my TV and I'm going to run it for four hours. I'll say I'm going to run my coffee maker for one half hour, 0.5, and my microwave oven, I'm going to give it 15 minutes, 0.25. So now that we know how long we're going to run them for, we got to figure out what we require amp hour wise. So we take our amps times our hours, which is going to give us our total consumption of amps. So our TV will be 40 amps. My coffee maker will be 50 amps. And my microwave oven is going to take 30 amps. So from there, I'm going to take and total up those three numbers, which is 120 amp hours required to run these appliances for the amount of time that I've given them. From there, we want to take our 120 amp hour battery bank and times it by two equals 240 amp hours required on this installation. The reason we take and times this by two is we don't want to take more than 50% out of that bank of batteries in between charges to keep your battery bank in good health. So there you go. It's a pretty easy formula to figure out just how large a battery bank you need for your 12 volt inverter installation.